What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to the video. So, when it comes to making beats, drum selection is like the most, or at least one of the most important parts of making a good beat. You could have the best melody in the world, sounds sick, but if you don't have the right drums to go on top of it that matches it, then it's just not gonna work, the beat's gonna be a dud. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my process of choosing drum sounds. And honestly, when it comes down to it, all it is is using your ears. Once you've made your melody or you're using a sample, you need to be able to hear it, listen to it, take it in. That sounds kind of spiritual. You just need to sit with it for a moment and just listen to what drums can go on top. Just as a general thing, if you're using like really modern trap sounds for a melody, loads of gross beat and stuff like that, maybe some hard hitting hip hop sounds, those boom bap drums might not go on top of it. But if you've got more of a sampled beat that sounds kind of grainy, sounds kind of vinyl and vintage, hip hop drum sounds might go much better on top of it. So yeah, I did a collab with Pod by Matter and he's gonna be sending me over some samples then I'm gonna go in, listen to it, and then decide which drums I'm gonna put on top of it and show you guys how I do that. If you need some drum sounds, I've got a link in the description to my store where I got some sick drum sounds, especially for trap beats. So if you wanna cop one of my kits, link is in the description. But also, if you don't know where to get free drum sounds, I have a whole video on that. The best place is freedrumkits.net. Go check that out if you're looking for free drum kits. And yeah, before we jump into it, hit that subscribe button right now, join the family. And if you haven't done so already, hit that bell notification so every single time I post, you'll get a notification and you won't miss another one. Now that I'm more settled in Bali, I'm gonna have my videos dropping more consistently. And follow me on Instagram, Pod by Ocean, because I'm gonna be dropping some videos there too. And I'm gonna be making some cool announcements like giveaways and things like that. It's about to be lit. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna send it over to Pod by Matter, where he's gonna show you how we made his samples. Let's go. Let's start with some chords. And now let's find a nice uh, different sound in Omnisphere. I'm going with the polysynth, or a bad sound, I think, so let's just see. Alright, we got one. So let's duplicate this part and add a counter melody to it. here I think. Yeah, so let's just cut out. I think it was this note. It was this note. I kind of don't want to quantize it because it has this swing. No, it sounds human and that's what I want to achieve when I make samples. They should sound human and realistic and not too robotic or something like that. Let's see, let's save that part first of all. And now let's add something to it. I like this one. Let's use this. All right, that's the final sample. So I'm going to export it and to send it to Ocean and let's see what he's going to do with those samples. I'm pretty excited. So I've got the sample open right now. I'm just going to give it a listen. And I can hear... It sounds quite modern. It sounds like, a, like this could be a trap beat. It's got bells and things like that. It's very airy. So just by listening to this, I'm gonna classify this as a trap beat, as a trap melody. When it comes to choosing drum sounds, the first thing I like to do is categorize it in a genre. So this one, it sounds like a trap melody, so I'd put trap drums on it. If it was more of a hip hop sounding melody, I'd put hip hop drums on it. But this definitely sounds more like a trap beat to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some drum sounds from my Volcano drum pack. Today, instead of using Ultra Beat, what I'm gonna do is actually use the drum machine designer. So I can actually use these pads to play in things. So I'm going to choose the empty kit right here and then it's got all these empty pads. So in order to line them up, as you can see I'm hitting this one here and then if I hit the next one they're in different places. So I'm just going to make sure that they're all mapped out the same way it is 
on my MIDI board. So what I can do now is open up my drum kit and just drag in some sounds. So I'm going to start with a clap. And I'm literally just going to go through and try out different claps and try and hear which one would sound best. okay that's what you got to do you got to just listen and try and find something that works after a while you're gonna find a few sounds that works for you like I know for me this loggerhead clap in my Atlantic kit this is like one of my favorite claps it works in like almost all my beats so I got my clap down I'm just gonna go ahead and find a kick I think what I'm going to do is speed up this sample as well. So I've just upped the BPM to 140. I'm going to press Option so we get this zigzaggy line and drag that down so it fits in the 8 bar loop. Alright, so I've got my kick and my clap style. Now I'm going to open up Osha Beat and add in some hi hats. I'm literally just going to go through, listen, and find one which is good. This one could work, so I'm just going to test it out. and simple. I'm just going to play around with the pitches. So I've got the kicks, the claps and the hi-hat style. Now I need to go in and add in some perks as well. And I'm going to try and find a perk that would fit on this nicely. So I've got this perk down. And what I want to do is turn it down a bit. And then I want to add in some echo. So I'm going to go to delay, echo, and then hit stereo. I think I'll drop this down to about 1, 4. Actually, let me put it back to 1, 8. So some of it was a bit off timing. Just going to control everything, press Q to quantize it. Some of that might have been off timing as well, so just control and then quantize it. And then that's basically it for the drums right there. I'm not going to even add anything more to it, just keep it like that. But all that's left now to put on top of this is the bass. So I think what I would do now is add a gliding bass, that's what I can hear on top of it, something that glides. But also, this kick I feel like is a bit, it's very punchy, so I just want something softer to go underneath it. And then I'm going to go in here and change it up. First of all, quantize it.
how I'm going to leave the 808s. And that's how I select the drums for just a typical trap beat. I got my own drum kits which have the trap sounds in it. And it fits nicely on top of this sample. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another sample and see what I can do with it. So I just came up with this progression right here. Put some nylon acoustic strings on it and a hard steel string and modified it a little bit. This part sounds like that. Counter melody. Quantize it. One octave. Let's export that for Ocean and see what he will be doing with it. So in this one we got a guitar sample. So I'm definitely going to be using some trap drums on this one. First sound I'm going to start with is the kick. This one's quite punchy. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a clap. I think a clap will go on top of this nicely instead of a instead of a snare. I'm gonna duplicate it and layer it with another clap on top as well. And I'm going to go in and add some trap perks on top of this as well. Beat again and add in some hi hats. I'm not even going to bother adding any rolls to the hi hats, I'm just going to leave it like that. So we've got one hi hat, one open hat there. I'm going to drag this one into the second sample. And then turn down the release on this one. And then all that's left to do now is adding an 808 on top of that. So I'm going to go for something that just really knocks hard to go with the kick. So I'm going to go in here, quantize it all, take down an octave, take down another octave. Maybe even another one. Actually no, that's too much. Put it up here. Then I'm gonna add in some overdrive as well, some distortion. I think for this sample, I'm just going to add in some imaging and stereo spread it. Some of this low end as well. I'm just going to drag.
drag that over. Drag that over. So the first part is just going to be the sample. I might even duplicate that, drag this down, mute that one, and add in a half speed effect. So I use M Rhythmizer, which is kind of like gross speed. It's not exactly the same thing, but it works for Logic Pro X. For the part after the intro that's leading up to the chorus, I'm going to take away the kicks, I'm going to take away the triangles, and the 8 away, then have a small drop there, then in the chorus, let me just drag this over to the second part. In the first part of the chorus, it's just going to have it minus the triangles. And then for the bridge, I'm going to take away the kicks, take away one of the perks, and the triangle as well. I think I'll take away the sample and drag in the half sped version. But for that, I think I need to add in some reverb moving it out a bit more. I'm going to take away the triangles here. Let's just see how that sounds. I leave that part as normal and for the verse, the second part of the verse, goes to the half sped part. And then for the bridge, it just has the sample by itself. And then it will just loop back to the chorus. So yeah, that's how I choose the drum sounds to make beats. All it is really is just about listening and trying to find which sounds sound the best. And after a while, you're going to find some sounds that you like to use and you probably use them for most of your beats. That's what I do. I use most of my drum kits for most of my beats. But it's all about just trying to match the, the kit, the drum sounds to the genre, making sure it fits, making sure it's just not too outrageous. I mean, there's no rules to this. You can try what you want. You could put a perk in as a snare if you wanted to. It's up to you, just as long as it fits and it sounds good, which again is subjective, but just use your ears and you'll figure it out. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps. Shout out this person who commented from the last video. Appreciate your support and I appreciate you guys watching. That's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the future.